welcome back um we're a little too close i think okay welcome back to my channel i'm gonna sit down and do a little makeup uh today i haven't done like a makeup video in too long if you ask me so i'm really excited i'm so tired today so if i seem a little out of it and low energy i am i don't know why i slept like a really long time last night again i don't know why my body needed it for whatever reason um okay so i'm gonna be testing out this very expensive foundation i bought like i bought it they didn't send this to me it's by 3Lab, and it's their Aqua BB. It's one of those like cushion compacts, has SPF 40 in it. Um, I've never tried it. I just did a little swatch on my face just to check the color. It's pretty good. Do you guys read Birdie? Okay, I'm addicted to reading Birdie and like Into the Gloss and all those beauty blogs. Well, one of the girls who, uh, I don't exactly know what her position is, but um, one of the girls like wrote an article about how this gave her the most perfect looking skin and that she gets compliments left and right when she wears it. And you know, you guys know me. Maybe you're new and you don't know me, but uh, I bought it. Uh, it was like a hundred and some dollars, like something crazy ridiculous. Like, let me look it up right now. I actually don't even remember. I blacked it out. I blacked out. It is a hundred and ten dollars, but but, but you do get a refill so it's actually half that you know because you're getting two foundations in one still an expensive product but um i want to see if it actually does that like the way she talked about it it this is like a miracle and i want perfect looking skin my skin's looking pretty good right now i was like breaking out like crazy um but now it's pretty good so um this came at the right time i feel like I have a good canvas to test this out on. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll do it so you don't have to. Um, she also raved about this product that she wears with it. Um, so I got that too. <laughs> you know, I'm not messing around. Um, this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. So I'm gonna put that on. It's like a pretty lavender color, but it just gives you like a nice glow. Smells good, feels good. Um, I've used this before. I got this a, a while ago, but... Um, I really do like it. I don't know if it helps with like longevity. I never use a primer for that reason. I just kind of like the base. Oh my God, I have neck wrinkles right now. Oh, I've been doing this for too long on my phone. Okay, anyway, oh Jesus. Um, so this feels good and it just gives you like a nice glow. Nothing too crazy. There's like an opalescence to it, but okay. Moment of truth. Um, <clears throat> so it looks like this. Sorry if I have a little, <clears throat> um, I was sick last week, so I still have a little bit of a cough. Um, so it comes with a little sponge like this. You know, a lot of brands make these now, so it's nothing like too new or innovative, but it's the formula that I'm most interested about. Um, so it has a little cushion like this, um, and a sponge that comes with. So the color is, you'll see it's a tiny dark for me. Let's zoom in a little. It's just like a smidge dark, but, you know, it's summer now, so this will be great. Okay, so already it's looking nice and dewy, and I'm excited to see, like, how it wears, and if I get compliments on my skin. So I'd say the coverage is sheer to medium, but buildable, um, and it's dewy, which I love. Yeah, this looks good so far. Okay, let's see how it wears. Okay, let's see if it was worth the $110. So for under my eyes, I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape. I freaking hate this packaging, it is so disgusting. Does anyone else have these problems with their Shape Tape concealer? I love this concealer, but it is nasty. I'm gonna cover it with a little zit. Do a little around my nose. I have been, this is probably why I'm tired, but I've been so busy with pottery stuff um if you guys follow me on instagram you know i did another restock for my ceramics website you guys bought almost everything i have and that oh my god if you bought something thank you so much it seriously like blows my mind every time because 
I just feel so supported and flattered. <clears throat> but um, honest to God, packing up and shipping all those items is a lot more work than even making the <laughs> even making them like on the wheel because it takes so long and my boyfriend was out of town so I had to do everything myself and it's just so much to take to keep track of and making sure I'm packing everything to the point where they're not gonna break making sure everything's going to the right person it's just a lot and it's stressful and uh, so I spent like the week doing that like organizing running back and forth to staples to get boxes and packing materials um, so everything's done and shipped out now so you guys should be getting your items soon um, <clears throat> but yeah that was a lot of work so I think that's why I'm tired I haven't even I went back to the studio yesterday um, and the day before but I didn't even do that much I'm just like so burnt out right now so I decided to take the day for myself and just um, you know catch up on some things at home and uh, you know laundry cleaning and film a video because I just haven't struck that like balance yet of like making time for myself making time for like you know household chores like cleaning laundry grocery shopping and making time for filming and making time for pottery um i tend to like put a lot of energy into one thing and then i'm like ah the other stuff is like piling up so i'm, I'm trying to like get better at that but i haven't struck a perfect balance yet okay so let's move on to the brows new product alert glossier came out with brow flick if you guys are new to my channel i am a glossier rep so if you if this is your first purchase with Glossier, if you use my link, you'll get 10% off um, and free shipping, and I do get a small commission from that sale. So just full disclosure right up front. So yeah, make sure you shop my link if you want to get a discount or if you just want to support me. Um, it's much appreciado. So I got this before it launched, um, so I've been playing around with it, and I truly love it. I had to play around with it a couple times because it is like a different product. I'm not used to using it. It's basically like a felt tip um, or it's actually hair, I think, but it's a fine tip. It almost looks like a liquid liner and it has just a really like sheer, not super sheer, but it's pretty sheer um, color and you can get like a really fine um, brush stroke with it. I just like squiggled it all over my hand and it stays on like really well like I need to like scrub this with makeup remover so basically can like paint in brow hairs and I love this because I have not been filling in my brows for months and months and months so I only do brow whiz which is always my favorite um, so I'm gonna do that first and I just I always I use brow whiz and brown and I brush them the opposite direction and then I brush them up and that's how I get the fullest effect with the brow whiz. So I do this first because I I find that I'll use less of the brow flick if I do this first because then they're already pretty full and I only have to do it in a couple areas. But I love this because it looks more natural because it looks like brush stroke or like brow hairs. And I'm, I'm just not into filling in my brows anymore. I think it's since I, um, I made my hair lighter, it just started looking like really harsh on me and like unnatural. And I'm just really into like natural brows right now. But you can see that I'm still sparse in some areas. So um, <clears throat> this does definitely take a little bit of practice because the first time I did it, like I did it a little bit too much and they looked a little crazy. Um, but now I think I got the hang of it. So I'm gonna try and do this. I'm left-handed, so this is hard. Here's the before. And I'm just doing like little brow hairs where I need it. I wore this the other day and I like FaceTimed with my aunt and she was like, did you get your eyebrows microbladed? And I was like, no girl. Glossier. So look at the difference. 
just looks a little bit more refined. But like, if you look up close, like it doesn't look like they're filled in. So I really love this. I don't think it's gonna be something I'll do every single time I do my makeup, just cause I'm lazy. <clears throat> but for when I want like a little bit more help or if I like over tweeze in some areas, um, this is great. Okay, let's go to the eyes. I'm gonna use like a bunch of products that are like kind of new to me that aren't necessarily new, but just things that I've like reached recently purchased and love using. Um, for eyes, that's been this Charlotte Tilbury um, Eyes to Mesmerize in Bet or Betty, B E T T E, Bet. It's just like a bronzy gold, which is like, you know, my color for my eyes. It's a cream shadow, and it's just been like really easy and pretty to like dab onto the eyes. I've just been like dabbing it on and then taking a brush and like buffing it out. Um, I love Charlotte Tilbury and I've always wanted one of these cream shadows because I love cream products. They're my favorite makeup products and um, these get like rave reviews but I just never bought one and so um, I did the other day and I've been loving it. It doesn't crease on me either which is great. I'm just gonna take whatever's left on my brush and take it under the eye a little. I also picked up this Marc Jacobs eyeshadow. It's their Omega shadow in the big O. And it's just like a really taupey but warm light brown. And I love like how light this is and subtle. And um, I've loved it as like a transition color. I even love it like all over my lids. But um, lately I've been using it mostly to like blend out this eyeshadow and I love it. It just gives like a really soft halo of warmth and I'm just going to take it a little under. Okay and then I'm going to take, this is my favorite eyeliner right now, it's the Glossier Play Color Slide in Brack. It's just like a black brown almost. I'm just going to sharpen this up. And I'm going to use this little mirror here because I'm going to poke myself in the eye if I look in this mirror. Um, and I just like to smudge this in the outer lash line. I don't take it all the way in just because I have like um, a hooded lid and my eyes also slope down. So to kind of give them a little lift, I just do it on the outside. And then I just flick it ever so slightly. And then I either like blend with my finger or a brush just to like soften it a little bit. But just a tiny, tiny bit just to give a little bit of depth uh, or definition, I mean. Okay, eyes are done. Sorry if the lighting's not great. I'm sitting in front of my window, but it's been like off and on. Um, sunny today it is June in LA and we have something called June gloom which is basically it's mostly overcast the month of June so it's kind of depressing if I'm being honest and then I'm just gonna take my lash slick also by Glossier you guys I haven't touched my Chanel LA volume in so long um, which has been my favorite mascara for like five years and um, maybe not that long but I'll, four years maybe actually maybe it has been that long because I started using it before I moved to LA and this year will be four years in LA so god time flies anyway I still love that mascara and I'll pull it out every now and then if I'm doing like a full-on look which is pretty rare these days but Lash Lick is my favorite now. I'm kind of freaking hot right now. I am also really loving this foundation. Damn it. It 
looks really good. Can you see? Does it look good on camera? I hope so. I really like it. This is like the foundation I've been wearing for probably the past like six months is this Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder. I really like that one too, but like I'm also, I don't think it gives me like a crazy great finish. Like it just looks like really natural and that's why I like it. Um, but like it's not something that like I put on and people are like, what are you wearing? But I don't know. I can't stop looking at my skin right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna use, I'm really excited, this blush by ColourPop. And this is um, their blush sticks in the shade Aloha. They came out with these new cream blushes and I was so intrigued by them because I love cream blushes that I ordered like six of them. And I've been using like a different one every single day. And I love them. I got like almost the same colors. Like I got like peachy, nudie, pinky shades, like everything in that family. So they're all like very similar, but I think they were like $8 each, which is great. And you get like a lot of product in here. Um, so this one's Aloha and I'm just gonna like dot it on the cheeks and I've been loving them. They just have a good texture. They're cream without being like heavy or sticky. So I highly recommend these. They're really blendable too. And I've not had any issue with breaking out from them. Um, I have broken out recently, but not on my cheeks, so. I'm not gonna even do a highlighter because this foundation's pretty dewy and I already have like a nice glow. For lips, this is what I've been doing. I've been using this combo a lot and a few of you, whoa, 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 everything's rolling off my table. A few of you have asked in, um, you know, Instagram pics and stuff, like, what this combo is. I'm about to show you. So, um, taking this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner. And I'm just going to line my lips ever so slightly with it. Just to give definition, but not, like anything major then I've been taking this Ohi lipstick it's their lip smudge in the shade motive it's this really pretty neutral like pinky peachy shade um, and then because I think it's like a little too like light for me like a little too cool and light which I don't love on me so then I take Glossier's um, zip and I just smudge it in the middle and kind of like pat it on and smudge and that's the lip I've been doing okay honest to god this foundation I'm gonna, I mean, I want to zoom in close. Can you guys see that? It looks good. Oh. Okay. Oh my god. I'm so glad I'm done because I'm now really hot and need to turn my air conditioner back on. The sun is not out, but it is warm. <laughs> I hope you guys like this um, makeup look. Let me zoom back out. Anyway, and I'm so glad I took the chance to sit down and do a makeup video with you guys because I've missed you. I haven't chatted with you in a while. Um, I am going to be taking you guys into the new studio and filming there this week. And so that video will be out soon. But um, a couple of you have been asking to, you know, film myself making some pots in the new studio. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to bring the camera in this week and get down to business. So. We'll do like a little studio vlog. Um, so stay tuned for that and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I just want my thumb to just be popping up. Give this video 
a thumbs up and um, I'll see you in my next video.